Hello, Sam. Hello, everybody. Now we have the big review, the review of the lessons 1 to 10 that we have already learned, right? Remember, we have repeated and repeated and repeated, but that's because I want you to start off right. I want you to be able to say things correctly from the very beginning. Now, in our lesson of review, well, lessons 1 to, to 10, uh, we will play a game. You can already see in front of me um, a page with all the words that we have already used somehow. So the game is, uh, first of all, I want you to take this page. It is available in the playbook. If you don't have it yet, just write me an email and you will get it. Print it out, maybe even print it out in several copies, right? And then you will be able to make sentences. What am I talking about? So. The point is that now when you look at a word, I want you to try to remember what kind of things you can say with the word in that particular form, right? Let's take something a bit more complicated, like this one. This is the word we had only once, Marty this, Marty this, to learn. And the original sentence was, I like to learn, man patik Marty this. Easy, right? This one we skip. But let's come up with something different. So, Marty, this remember it means to learn or the learning process. So, how can we use this with some kind of other forms? We already know how to say that you like something, right? How would we say you like to learn? Think. Which word will we use? This one. Thou. Right? Patik. This is the second one. Patik. Mati this. Here we already have a new sentence, which is of course similar to the one that we already know, but this is the point of the game that you know the structures and now with the sentences that you already know how to work with, you just put in some other words and you see which words work together and which words don't work together. So, this. can we make it longer? Hmm, how? We already know this word, why? Remember, it's the word that starts a question, like, do you like to do something, or do I like? Oh, it depends, right? If I forgot everything about myself, you know. Uh, maybe that's the question I would like, I would start asking. Do I like this? Do I like that? Is my name? Is this? Is this my dog? Anything, right? So let's just use the same sentence in a question. Do you like to learn? Oh, that's easy, right? Why? That's the first one. Tell. Patik. Mati this. Of course, there will be a question mark at the end. Do we work with more sentences? Okay, let's do it together. What can we say about this word, brivibus? You know that it works together with the word iela. That's how we learned it, right? The street of freedom, brivibus. Also the form that you have here, this is the so-called genitive form. Do you know what it is? Genitive means belonging to something or of something. Like in this case, the street of freedom. Yes, that's that's what the names of the street mean. They mean the street of something. Brivi Basila, the street, street of freedom. Of course, you, you would rather say a freedom street or something like this. But that's kind of the whole point. This form is the off form. Like, for example, if I said, uh, remember we had the name Christine? So, if I wanted to say uh, Christina's children in Latvian, this is like basically children of Christine, right? So, I would say Christines Barney. Oh, we have Barney here. We have Christine. But then, similarly to this, because Briviba is like this, Briviba. But in order to say of freedom, here we go, brivibus. 
So the same would be Christine. That's Christina or Christine. And then Christines would be of Christine. So children of Christine would be Christine's parne. Okay, but now we are working with the word brivibas. And let's put it together with Iela. What can we say in exactly this word, in exactly this form? Brivibas Iela. Oh, let's try that. Uh, the Freedom Street is... Where is the word good in the feminine form? I don't even see it. I think we have to put a couple of more words here because I do remember that we learned that, right? There is a chance that I forgot something happens to the best of us. Columns to the right. Let's put it here. Laba. We have, ah, we have it, we have it, we have it. Laba is here. Sorry. Delete. Oh, that would be easy. See, that's interesting that even looking for those words, it kind of makes your mind more alert. Uh, it trains the perception, it helps you. Even in this case, if something goes wrong, believe me, the word laba, you will remember. So whatever goes wrong or whatever makes you laugh, it's perfect, laba. So let's just say that the street of freedom is good. Well, it's not a sentence that you would use every day, but what not, why not? For example, somebody is saying, where should I open my new restaurant? Or where should I go out eating? Or well, you can say, oh, the, the, the street of freedom is good, right? So that's a legit and kind of almost natural sentence, at least in some situations. So let's say that. Bribibas, here. Iela, how do you say is? Of course, ir, laba. Why did we use laba and not lobby or labs? Okay, that's because the word iela is in fact grammatically feminine. Remember we talked about it? We talked about it a lot. So one thing we can do to make life even easier for us, let's make it pink. Because the word Iela is pink because it's feminine. What about the word daughter? Oh, that's easy, right? She's a girl. And the same goes, of course, for Maitas. Remember what Maitas was? Well, that's in fact a tricky question because mate does could either mean daughters, like two, three, four, plural, or as you already saw from this example, briviba, brivibas, so of freedom. Hmm, it's safe to guess that from meta, if we want to make of daughter, it would just go the same, why wouldn't it? So, meta, metas. So, we could either use it as a plural form, metas, daughters, or of a daughter, or daughters something. So, let's work with another word. That's something that we learned just last time. Nebusho. And, of course, I put this ne into a little brackets just because you don't have to use necessarily ne bosho, you can say bosho, right? How do you say I will be in Riga? Like, for example, somebody's asking you, What will you be doing next week? and you will say, Well, I will be in Riga. Let's say that. How do we say I? S will be. Bushu, make oo long and sh like a snake sound. S bushu. Okay, now of all the words here, let's find in riga. Oh yeah, here, riga, right? Riga. I will be in riga. S bushu riga. Why didn't we use this one? Maybe with some kind of a preposition. Right? Like in. Where is the in? Well, the good news is we don't have to learn how you say in Riga or at work because in Latvian, in all cases, we will use the same form. I will be in Riga. 
es būšu Rīgā. How do we say I will be at work? Easy. Es būšu right here. Darbā. Darbā. Es būšu darbā. So you see now what I'm expecting from you. Uh, please print this page in a couple of copies so that you can make sentences. And under this lesson or under this review, please post those sentences that you came up with. First of all, because of course it's an it is an opportunity for me to check. And uh, another thing, of course, well, there have to be some nice prices, right, for the best students. So there will be two. One prize for the student who comes up with the longest legitimate sentence. It doesn't have to be an extremely logical sentence, but as long as it is grammatically legit, I'll accept it. Of course, if you come up with a story when you can use it, well, I guess you will get an extra prize for that. And the second prize goes for the student who will come up with the most sentences. Yes. And just to make your life easy, even if you use the sentences that we already used in the lessons, that's totally fine. Everybody can use them. So when working on the biggest number of sentences, just be free to first of all copy the sentences that we already have. Hmm, right? You will remember them better. And then, of course, work on new sentences that you can make from the words that were used somewhere else. Okay, if you have questions, please ask. And yes, good luck. I'm sure you will be able to come up with a lot of sentences, claim the price, and learn a lot of new things. See you soon. Ata!